Okay, so this is my Micro Fruit Review 2021. Um, I've had this thing now for just about over a year. Um, so I thought I'd share my thoughts. Um, okay, so first of all, I've spent loads of time with this synthesizer. I don't think I've spent as much time learning tricks and tips and new ways of doing stuff on any synthesizer. Um, I've got a couple of Behringer Craves here. Uh, circuit tracks, Lentius One, Synth Craft Two, a uh, Craft Synth Two, sorry, by Modal. Um, they're all brilliant, but the Micro Freak has modulation capabilities beyond all of them. Uh, I wanted to step it up and get something better, but I'm a bit confused as to what to get. The only thing I can really see that um, really beats it and costs more is the Argon Eight. Um, but even then, it doesn't have all the different oscillator types on it. Um, so that's debatable. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was the raw sound of it. Um, it sounds great. As a digital synthesizer, it can do anything. You know, it can sound like any other digital synthesizer. Light, fluffy, airy, brittle, but also fat. Um, which is one thing I like about it. Um, with the modulation capabilities... You can you can coax really good sounds out of it. It really doesn't have a problem creating something fat, whether it be a Reese, whether it be that old school bass stab, whether it be an organ, anything like that. It's really good for it. Um, the more complex stuff it excels at. It really does. Um, I only my only wish is that maybe it had another envelope, or maybe another LFO um, would be quite useful. The LFO on it is great really useful, so is the envelope, so is the cycling envelope, but maybe just one more. Um, I always find that maybe just that one more envelope would take me just that little bit further. Um, next thing I wanted to talk about was the workflow. The workflow is excellent on this. The sequencer is great. You're able to save your presets. It doesn't bother me that the knobs aren't in the right places. You only have to wiggle one a little bit and then it sorts that out. Um, the fact that it recalls everything absolutely perfectly. Um, I've got it connected to the circuit tracks. I use the CCs on it. I use the chord mode and I break that out so that I don't have to touch the micro fruit either in a live jam or in a song scenario. Um, I also use the LFO rate uh, which is synced uh, via MIDI. So you can do all kinds of different automations there on your bass different speed triggerings and stuff, it's really good. Um, touched on the sequencer. The sequencer is incredible on this. Um, even though I've got it plugged into the circuit tracks, so the circuit tracks can sequence it, um, and does sequence it most of the time, the actual sequencer on it is incredible. Um, really, really good, really, really inspiring with the spice and dice. I mean, I, I can quickly show you off the top of my head something. We've put in some low notes. And we'll just make a little quick stab sound. Something like that, it's nice. And we'll just put in a little quick sequence. And we'll make sure that the MIDI is on. So that's nothing special. It quickly starts to become something great. Really, really powerful the sequencer on it. Really, really powerful. Using it to sequence other stuff is great. Um, really, no complaints about that at all. Um, so that's the spice and dice. Wear and tear. Uh, there is a little bit of wear and tear, maybe. Uh, it stopped outputting sound and I had to send it back and got a replacement. 
uh, well, they fixed it. Since then, there's been no issues at all. Um, and other than that, I haven't really had any issues with it at all. I mean, the only thing that occasionally confuses me is I think sometimes the MIDI gets a bit jarred when you're switching uh, the MIDI merge settings. But other than that, it, it rarely happens, so I can't really complain about that. Um, and the other thing is where it sits in my setup. Uh, I'll try and show you. So there's the modal, the NTS-1, two Behringer Craves, a circuit tracks, which essentially sequences everything. And then if we come down here, see if I can get this to uh, collapse a bit. Maybe not. Let's take it to the stand. There we go, so I've got a desk. So all of that is multi-tracked into the desk, which is really handy. Um, the micro freak because it's got two outputs again is really handy because one is going into the circuit tracks which means it can be side chained and the other one is going straight into the desk so it can be multi multi tracked as well in Ableton as all the instruments are um, so again really 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 good um, just a couple more envelopes maybe a sub oscillator maybe something something to give it a little bit more uh, a little bit more complexity would be really nice but other than that I could recommend this for the price you're not going to get better um, I could recommend this over any of my synths to be honest the amount of depth that it has the amount of time that you'll spend making presets for it um, I watched another review and someone said that they just fall out that's very true the preset you'll just sit there for hours making and saving stuff um, that's it for my review. Uh, hopefully someone finds this really useful. Definitely a great product. Um, and I look forward to doing more reviews. Like and subscribe, guys.